This series explains the basics of building Razor Pages web app using ASP.NET Core in Visual Studio. Let us create the project. Uh, just go to File New. In the project selection page, on selecting a new project, select ASP.NET Core and select ASP.NET Core web application. Let's name the project name as uh, Razor Pages Movie. Then click OK. Now Visual Studio will start creating the project for you. This project is ASP.NET Web Application. So you need to select Web Application here. And make sure you have the latest .NET Core is selected. Select .NET Application here. Web Application. Click OK. Now the Visual Studio process your request and it will start creating the project for you. Visual Studio will take little time based on your process uh, uh, speed and uh, your memory capacity. The circle in the mouse pointer indicates that uh, there is something is happening in the background. Visual Studio does some operations and uh, to get your uh, projects. I think uh, it loaded the project now. Let us examine the solution explorer. Uh, notice under the www root folder we have js css and images uh, folders and let's examine the pages folder and here if you notice we have css HTMLs and uh, some few CSS, css html will have their respective uh, cs files as well which is a class file which has a code to perform some operations on the css html file so we have also have app settings.json here and that it will contain uh, uh, app related settings and we have a, a startup page um, as you know uh, this startup page uh, will have all the details that is required to start up your application so we are going to see all those details uh, in the latest later videos and uh, stay with me and uh, we will uh, go by step by step and if, when you open these classes you may find uh, some red line under them because we have not yet compiled the code so the compiler uh, was not able to understand it uh, enough what are the related classes what are the namespaces imported and all once you compile the application uh, all these red lines will be removed and uh, because it's uh, uh, boilerplate code that was generated by visual studio so there won't be any error you'll be getting so you don't need to worry about it notice that uh, we have zero errors and warnings uh, so it is uh, compiled successfully let's run the application so uh, it takes a little while based on your processor and the memory uh, once the application uh, ran successful uh, you will be able to see the uh, pages in the Chrome uh, or the, any default browser. Here uh, um, the main page and about page and uh, the contact page are uh, visible as you see on clicking the respective links. Uh, <coughs> so these uh, pages are served uh, from the uh, pages folder. We have uh, the respective CSHTML files like index.cshtml, about.cshtml and contact.cshtml. These are the pages got rendered in the UI if you notice. 
So let's discuss about this in detail.